Alright guys, so in the background is just uh, some god eggs. I recently uh, did this on stream, it was about a week ago. I uh, just opened up some of them on stream and you know, you guys get to see that. Nothing to do with the topic today. Basically today's video is just a public service announcement to not go for this Bloodhound pet. Don't do it. Unless it's the only thing you want in the game, don't do it. Unless Master Clues are the only thing you care about, don't do it. Because, listen, if you were to get every PVM pet in the game currently, if you were to get 200 mil slayer, fishing, woodcutting, and mining, all of them, and get elite clues from there, and then, uh, you know, also do the 500, 400, 300, and 200 of the easy, medium, hard, and elite, you wouldn't even get a thousand master clues done. And the drop rate of the Bloodhound, as we now know, is one in a thousand. All those things, that's thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of other content where you could passively get yourself master clues. That you wouldn't even hit the thousand master clues. That's how long it takes, guys. Uh, currently, if you're farming for a master clue, you can get one about every three hours. That includes the time it takes to get one done, um, if that's all you're doing. So it would take you about 3,000 hours to hit that drop rate. And I know statistics, guys. I know, you know, probabilities and all that. You're about 63% um, likely to get a pet if you hit that thousand master clues. Some people will get it on their first one, and some people will never get it. I understand that, but this video is just going to be based off the probabilities and averages over time. Um, you know, with multiple people doing master clues. So let's get into this. I'm just going to go through these guys and let you guys know how rare this pet actually is if you're, you know, just passively going for it instead of, you know, smashing out 3,000 hours of clues. Uh, so if you do the Wildy set with a Ring of Wealth Eye, you'd get about 120 elites. And elites are the main thing you really need. Hards are never hard to get. Uh, easies and mediums you get from Implings. So those take no time at all, really. You just use them through Slayer or it just happens. You just get hard clues. So elites are the main issue here. You'd actually end up getting 30 from KQ and Cerberus, 22 from Sire, 20 from Corp, 80 from God Wars, 7 from KBD, 6 from Mole, 20 from DKs, 6 from Kraken, 6 from Smoke, 53 from Zora. Uh, about 50 from Necreals, if you do Necreals, in the Catacombs, and then you kill Scottazo with your Totems. You get about 140 from Smoke Devils and Dark Beasts, if you don't have Dark Beasts extended, and then you get about 220 if you do have them extended. You get about 83 from getting the 500, 400, 300, 200. Uh, you get about 50 from 200 mil fishing at the moment. We don't actually know the rates of the Geode and the Clue Nests, but I'm going to assume that it goes off the same kind of rate. Uh, so if you were to efficiently do uh, wood cutting and mining, you'd probably expect about 50 elites from there, which would get you 50 masters. Uh, so 100 from both of those together. And that's it. That's 900 clues if you extend Dark Beasts, 820 if you don't extend them. And the point I'm trying to make here is that you get all those clues just from passively doing other content that isn't just camping for clues. You'll end up getting, you know, pretty close to the drop rate average just from camping other stuff. Just from doing Slayer, fishing, mining, woodcutting, and doing your 500, 400, 300, 200. You'll get, and all PVM pets, not to mention on top of that. you get everything done except for that pet, and you only have a few hundred hours left instead of camping clues for 3,000 hours. Moral of the story, don't camp for clues, just let them happen. One final note, would you rather have almost every single PVM pet or just one that you have to camp for? for 3,000 hours. 